and they can be bailed in, but you don't want a huge run on the institution. But they have, I mean, they're going to be. That's, and, and it could be an early warning signal to the FDIC and the primary regulators when these things happen. And there may be some other prices, this is uh, similar to what Jay was saying, in the market that you can tell whether people understand how the, who's going to be protected, who isn't going to be protected. It would be, I think, an interesting study to look at the evolution of market prices in a situation like March of 2020, for example, and see whether people understood what might happen. I, I might go further than that, Don, because I think that you look at the evolution, I think we have to sit down and talk to long-term debt investors and make sure that they, as a stakeholder group, fully understand bank debt today is not what it was before. It is not principal protected by design. And I think that that, is, that expectation, I like how you started off, Betsy, like it's all about expectation setting. And I think that is, that is absolutely critical. If that doesn't hold, this whole thing doesn't hold. And so I think it's uh, one area to focus on. I do want to go back to something Jay said about stabilizing statements. In my experience, they're not stabilizing. If you have to make a stabilizing statement, you're in real trouble. And, uh, and I think that part of that means that there's a lot of pre-work that needs to be done such that those statements aren't seen as a reach. If you have to make a stabilizing statement, you're already in trouble. I wanted to lead with that clip from the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation talking about how bank debt is fundamentally not the same anymore, talking about who will be protected and who will not be protected. Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, we give away $10 in XRP on the channel every single day. Winner in the video description below. Enter the giveaway. Just like the video. Subscribe with notifications on. And comment anything in the YouTube comment section below. And if you need an exchange to get XRP or other digital assets, I recommend Uphold. It's sleek. It's simple. It's secure. It gets the job done. So if you need a spot to get XRP or the other digital assets, check out Uphold in the video description below. And now for a great clip from BitBoy Crypto, one of the biggest influencers in the space, talking about XRP. Guys, XRP is gonna be the number one coin for the next bull run. It was the number two coin in 2017. It was the most popular coin for sure. This 2025 cycle, XRP will be the largest winner in the bull market. XRP will be the largest runner in the next bull run. People seem to forget and have a short-term memory in crypto, but in 2017, XRP was second only to Bitcoin, and it would have been that way in the past bull run. However, what happened, we had that lawsuit. Interesting story here, guys. An unidentified object filmed around 5 p.m. last night above Little Rock, Arkansas. What do you guys think about these UFOs? Comment in the comment section below. I know it's not crypto related, but there's been a lot of talk about these UFOs, and I'm just curious what your guys' thoughts are on the subject. And guys, I have an XRP community on Twitter. It's a new feature on Twitter where you can tweet in this community and I can see the tweets. You see here, someone tweeted XRP to the moon. My goal for this in the future is that I'll be able to include your guys' tweets in the video. So if you have good information about XRP or wanna join the conversation and be incorporated in my videos, check out my Twitter community in the video description below and just tweet in here. And yeah, in the future videos, you might be featured. An interesting story just goes to show Bitcoin was not created by the most intelligent graphic designer in the world. A small design detail that has stayed with many iterations of the original Bitcoin logo. And they go to show that in the B on Bitcoin, there is a graphical error where there actually aren't pixels in a spot where there should be. So I just thought that was pretty interesting. And with the fall of Kraken last week, speaking of Kraken, we have an SEC commissioner, Esther Pierce, pushing back against the SEC. And the crazy thing is she works for the SEC. She says, today the SEC shut down Kraken's staking program and counted it as a win for investors. I disagree and therefore dissent. And this really echoes the whole ripple sentiment as well. She says, using enforcement actions to tell people what the law is in an emerging industry is not an efficient way of regulating. Great point. Moreover, staking services are not uniform. So one-off enforcement actions and cookie cutter analysis does not cut it. And this is big words coming from SEC commissioner herself, Esther Pierce. And guys, here's some positive news that you should just never forget. XRP is more than just a cryptocurrency. It's a game changer in the financial world. Fast, secure, and affordable cross-border payments at your fingertips. 
Are you ready to join the XRP revolution? And if you guys do like XRP and you enjoy my videos, um, follow me on Twitter, links in the video description below. And people say XRP has nothing to do with ISO 222, right? Well, check out this document that I found right here. It's from a Ripple report and they say cross-border payments are not ready for the future. Global payment standards are fragmented, resulting in closed networks, unstructured data, and opaque payments that require manual intervention and ultimately a poor payment experience. The world is converging on a new global standard for ISO 222, the de facto go-to global standard for cross-border payments. To help enable this next step in global interoperability and meet the involving needs of our customers, Ripple is now part of the ISO 222 standards body. And this is what was pivotal for Ripple joining because a lot of other companies have joined ISO. Ripple was the first company focused on what? Cross-border payments and distributed ledger technology. And we know distributed technology, distributed ledger technology, pardon me, is gonna be a staple in the future of this new system. Already adopted in 70 countries, it is estimated that 87% of global financial transactions will be supported by ISO 222. So it's not really up for a debate, guys. ISO 222 will be the standard. In previous videos, I've showed you the evidence that there is a set date for banks to switch to this standard. Yes, a set date and a set weekend where they have to switch to these standards. And guys, over 300 financial institutions around the world already rely on Ripple's growing payment network. They have payout capabilities in 70 countries and presence in 45 countries. And keep in mind, this is without any regulatory clarity. Okay. Oh, did I record that whole video zoomed in? Could you see any of the content I was putting on the screen? I think I sh should still be good. Jeez, I am just getting really bad, guys. But um, yeah, if you're still watching the video, guys, you can get $40 for free. Just sign up with Webull, deposit a penny, and you can get up to $3,000 in free stocks. Typically, you'll just get 40 to 300 bucks, but it's a great offer just for signing up. You're guaranteed a deposit, a guaranteed minimum value of $40 in free stocks just for signing up and depositing a penny. Close your account, sell your stocks, but don't miss out on this great offer. It does end soon. Links in the video description below. And as always, guys, be smart with your crypto, invest in your future. Yeah, maybe you only have 100 bucks, 200 bucks of crypto, but with how this digital asset class works, there are crazy gains. One dollar of Bitcoin 10 years ago is now millions of dollars. So be secure with your crypto. The smartest way to store it is with a Ledger cold storage wallet. And I have one of each of these products. Check, check out the Ledger shop in the video description below. Do not get it off Amazon, like I said earlier, only from the legit Ledger store. And if you guys are still watching the video, comment Ledger wallet below. Thank you for watching my entire video. It supports the channel. And every time you comment the keyword at the end, I know you finished the video and I like to watch through the comments and see who comments it i appreciate you guys you guys are loyal fans and uh, thanks for the support on my channel it's doing great god bless you guys until next time